हेलो क्लास आई एम हैप्पी नारंग योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ फंडामेंटल ऑफ सॉइल साइंस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक दैट इज सॉइल फॉर्मेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सॉइल कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द सॉलिड मटेरियल ऑन द अर्थ सरफेस दैट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ वेदरिंग एंड बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी ऑन द पेरेंट मटीरियल और अंडरलाइंग हार्ड रोक The study of soils as naturally occurring phenomena is called pedology from the Greek word pedon meaning soil or earth pedology takes into account factors and processes of soil formation soil characteristics and distribution of soil types the basic unit of a study soil profiles is a vertical cross section of a soil it is divided into a number of distinct layers referred to as horizons the horizons are normally designated by symbols and letters the presence or absence of particular horizons allows pedologist or we can say soil scientist to classify the soil in addition the organic or o horizon can form above the mineral soil commonly in forested areas resulting from the dead plant and animal remains this diagram shows simplified soil horizons so first we'll talk about soil horizons the horizons may be further subdivided for an example in this soil profile the a horizon has been divided into four further pedological horizons leaf litter fermenting leaf litter humus alluvial these lie above the b or alluvial horizon as shown in the figure there are some soil forming factors soils develop as a result of the interplay of five factors parent material climate organisms relief and time these all are the process of soil forming factors first we will discuss about the parent material this is the material from which the soil has developed and can vary from solid rock to deposits like alluvium and boulder clay it has been defined as the initial state of the solid soil system the parent material can influence the soil in a number of ways that are color texture structure mineral composition and permeability or we can say drainage the soil has developed on old red sandstone and so has derived its distinctive color from its parent material now comes climate this is probably the most important factor soils produced from the same parent material under different climates contrast climate governs the rate and type of soil formation and is also the main determinant of vegetation distribution soil climate has two major components moisture or we can say precipitation and temperature influencing evaporation when precipitation exceeds evaporation leaching of the soil will occur temperature determines the rate of reactions chemical and biological decay and so has an influence on weathering and humification as shown in figure so now we'll discuss about the organisms vegetation fauna and soil microbes organisms influencing soil development range from microscopic bacteria to large animals including man microorganisms such as bacteria and fungi assist in the decomposition of plant litter this litter is mixed into the soil by macroorganisms or soil animals such as worms and beetles soil horizons are less distinct when there is much soil organism activity higher plants influence the soil in many ways the nature of the soil humus is determined by the vegetation cover and resultant litter inputs roots contribute dead roots to the soil bind soil particles together and can 
redistribute and compress soil as you can see in the figure relief landforms and topography now we'll discuss relief is not aesthetic it is a dynamic system its study is called geomorphology relief influences soil formation in several ways it influences soil profile thickness that is as angle of slope increases so does the erosion hazard it has an effect on climate which is also a soil forming factor gradient affects runoff percolation and mass movement and it influences aspect which creates microclimatic conditions in this photograph soils are thin on the glacially eroded rock outcrops but are much deeper on the raised beach deposits in the foreground now we will discuss about the time soil develop very slow in india it takes about 400 years for 10 mm of soil to develop young soil retain many of the characteristics of the parent material over time they acquire other features resulting from the addition of organic matter and the activity of organisms the soils of india are relatively young because they are largely post glacial an important feature of soils is that they pass through a number of stages as they develop resulting in a deep profile with many well differentiated horizons this soil profile shows a recent soil in kelvin forest which has formed on sand overlying an ancient buried profile there are some soil forming factors soils are complex and dynamic system in which many processes are taking place capillary action weathering decomposition and humification leaching and translocation these all are the soil processes now we'll discuss about the weathering this refers to the breakdown and decomposition of rocks and minerals by factors including air water sun and frost physical weathering involves continual breakdown of rocks into smaller and smaller particles chemical weathering involves alteration of the chemical composition of rock minerals now comes decomposition and humification decomposition is the breakdown of plant derived material into its simpler organic constituents this is accomplished by enzymes earthworms mites and other organisms humification is the breakdown of plant remains leading to the formation of different types of humus it is probably the most important biological process taking place in soils mul humus develops under deciduous woodland where base rich plant remains are actively broken down by a prolific soil biota more humus is intermediate between more and mul more humus usually develops beneath coniferous woodland or heather moorland under cool wet climatic conditions breakdown is slow due to the absence of soil biota now comes capillary action where evaporation exceeds precipitation moisture moves upwards within the soil profile by capillary action it is therefore in the reverse direction to leaching in india precipitation generally exceeds evaporation as a result capillary action in india soils rarely occurs apart from in very sandy soils now we'll discuss about the leaching wherever rainfall exceeds evaporation and there is a free downward movement of water through the soil pore system soluble minerals are leached or removed from the soil profile continual leaching tends to impoverish the upper mineral horizons by removal of basic cations cations are ions having a positive electrical charge 
Leaching is most active in sandy soils with high porosity and is least in fine textured soils such as clays which have restricted pore species. A soil with small soil pads or crumbs and high porosity leading to free drainage and active leaching as shown in the figure. Now comes translocation. The movement of material in solution or suspension from one horizon to another is referred to as translocation. The upper mineral horizon losing the material is the alluvial or E horizon. This is where maximum leaching or elevation takes place. The E horizon near the surface of a porzole is a good example of an alluvial horizon. The lower horizon gaining the material is the alluvial horizon, often a subsoil or B horizon. This is the zone of maximum accumulation. As you can see in the figure, the arrow indicates this. Now comes soil color. Generally, soil color is determined by the amount of organic matter and the state of the iron. Soil color is also related to the soil drainage with free draining well aerated soils with poor space dominated by oxygen having rich brown colors in contrast poorly draining soils often referred to as glaze develop under anaerobic conditions the pore space dominated by water and have gray or blue gray colors soils with periodic water logging are imperfectly drained and are often highly motile with blotches of contrasting color Motels are often rusty in color and are due to iron concentration. Such colors are the result of oxidation reduction. Iron is the main substance affected by these processes. If the iron is released in an anaerobic environment, then it stays in the reduced state giving it the gray-blue color of waterlogged soils. Now we'll discuss about the soil texture. Soil texture is a term used to describe the distribution of different sizes of minerals particles in a soil. Texture range from clay, sand and silt at the extremes to a loam which has all three sized fractions present. The main influence of texture is on permeability which generally decreases with decreasing particle size. Soil Cloth on right above is dense with a poor texture and leads into a poor structure if badly managed. Due to continual compaction, it is a blue-gray in color due to low oxygen conditions. It is a poor environment for root development. Soil cloth on left has been well managed and is relatively loose with ample pore space for good healthy root development soil high in silt and clay with compact subsoil lacking in pore spaces as shown in the figure thank you stay home stay safe